Okay, good, good. All the way down. Good job. Good job. Let's, I wonder what the lowest body fat you have recorded. So uh, this would be this right here. <laughs> really? Oh, this, this, would be, this would be it right here. Yes, yes, you are a, absolutely. Another record, another PR. <laughs> yeah. PR lifestyle is more than just hitting a PR on the squat bench or deadlift. It's about being the best version of yourself, always improving. Come on, somebody out there said I'm working harder than you. You versus you. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I am here at Mount Sac Community College, and I'm here with Lorraine. Thank you so much for having me here today. Absolutely. And today what we're about to do is measure my body fat. So this is a test called hydrostatic, and I've never done it before. The only test I've used to measure my body fat in the past has been the caliper test, and I feel that's fairly accurate, and that was years ago. So this is back when I used to be at PT at Equinox. I did the caliper test every day just for fun and I haven't done it ever since. I also have done an in-body test, can't remember the results, so this will be very interesting because this is the most condition I've ever been in my career. Being just under a few days out from my bodybuilding show, I have a show on Saturday, we're sitting at Tuesday, so just in a few short days, I'll be stepping on stage inside out peeled. So could you please walk us through how this works? All right, exactly. Hi guys. Yes, we're gonna do the hydrostatic weighing today. And what we're gonna first do, a couple of the procedures first, is I'm gonna take Larry's height and also his weight. I will input that data into our laptop computer and uh, we will have him sit on the hydrostatic weighing tank, the calibrated weighted platform and we will get going and we'll go into a little bit more detail. So right now we're gonna do just basic steps to get some data that we need to plug into our computer to get going. Time to get naked, let's do it. <laughs> and this has recently been calibrated as well. So, okay. That's really important calibration and it being accurate is huge as you guys know. So please go ahead and hop on the scale. I would say 239 and a half. I'm on track. Got to be 232 for the show day. So we're going to pull water in a couple of days. I just pulled sodium from today. So I expect to lose three pounds from that and then another three to four from sauna. Okay. Yeah. Good. Easy enough? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I need to be. Yep. So to make weight oh, yeah, for absolutely. classic division and be 232, you have to be just over six foot one. Then you're in the six foot one to six foot two class. So I'm good. All right, so how the hydrostatic weighing tank's gonna work is I have to first take off, turn off the pump, because the less turbulence, the better in regards to accuracy of the testing of the tank, okay? Now, before Larry gets, well, when Larry gets in the water, he's gonna stand into the tank, get acclimated to the water. The water's 92 Fahrenheit, so it's like a bath water. Ooh, lovely. Like that. <laughs> Man, and I get out. what we're going to do is, so the less turbulence, the better. And uh, we have to first make sure we calibrate the platform. So before Larry gets started with us doing the testing, uh, we have to make sure he's going to be in the tank. I'm going to pass him this weight. Hmm. And the weight says 4.1 kilograms. So when it calibrates, again, just like the weighing scale, we just want to make sure it's accurate. So we're going to calibrate the platform before you, you sit down. Okay. Sure. All right. After that, after the platform is calibrated, then we're going to go ahead. Larry is going to sit on the platform mm -hmm. and he's going to hold his hands on the edges of the platform. Now, this is the most important part of the testing. The more you can expel all your air out of those lungs, the more accurate this test is going to be. So, given that, your first couple of trials, they're going to be test trials. 
Okay. And then the more and more subjects I've done, the more you do the trials, the more your body feels more comfortable in the environment, you're able to breathe out more, okay? So the most important thing as well is as you're going under, as you're sitting on the, the chair, you're going to tilt from your hips and you're going to expire. You're going to start breathing out, exhaling all of your air as you're going down. So I want to show you a visual here so you can see where you're going to be holding your hands. So you're, not going, to, you're going to hold your hands on the actual platform and then you're going to submerge your head. You're just going to bend. So you just want to make sure that your head is fully underwater. Understood. Okay. Okay. All right. And that box right there is going to communicate with my laptop. And this is the data. This is Exertex program the, that we use. Okay. Right, let's see that. Okay. All right, so as Larry is getting comfortable with the water, standing there just for a second, just stand for one moment. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the box on here. So it's communicating together. All right. Why do you do that? Center that platform right behind. So go ahead and turn around and just set the weight down there. There you go. Right in the center, perfect. And then I will calibrate that, make sure it's accurate. <clears throat> And it says 4.1. That's good. Okay, so we are now ready to do the testing. We calibrated the platform, add to make sure that the pump is turned off to reduce tube turbulence. So now we're gonna do a couple of trials. Like I mentioned, the first two, just get acclimated to the water and what we're gonna be doing. So the other key that's important, it's a little tricky, is when you're sitting on the platform, I need you to crisscross your legs underneath the platform. So your feet should not be touching the bottom of the tank. All right? So that's where it's like you're trying to hold yourself down and then you're going to expel all the air out. All right, I need to handle that. Okay, awesome. Right. Yeah, so go ahead, sit in the center and I'm just going to observe to make sure that your back isn't touching. So we want to stay perfect, nice, perfect. Cross. Yeah, it's good, good job. Cross, and just go ahead, just go bend forward and just, yeah, get used to the water, perfect. Good, and back up, nice. Okay. okay, so what we're going to do, so I'm gonna give you another example. So our first trial, you're gonna hold on, Form looks great, of course. <laughs> and so you're going to breathe out as you're going under. And try to go just nice and slow. So again, less turbulence, the better. Like try not to make too much water movement okay. um, as best as you can. And then just hold down until you feel like you've literally expelled all of your air out. Understood. Okay. I'll do that. Okay, good. All right, how you doing, okay? Yeah, so far so good. Okay. He's like, I'm driving. <laughs> I know, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like the first couple of times, it's gonna feel Now the accuracy of all this will be a lot more, will improve as, I probably will do about four trials on you, so you'll probably do this about four times. You did really well with expelling the, there at. Okay. All right, how do you feel, do you feel like your feet were touching the bottom by any chance? I know there's a lot going on. Potentially, I wasn't constantly making okay. that effort. Yeah, yeah, because I just where I'm seeing the graph is why I was asking just to make sure, which is fine. Like that's with the first couple of trials, that's what's going to happen, right? Like the more we get dialed in on the accuracy, the better off we are. Okay.
All right, rest for a bit, okay? Okay. I know it's probably hard to try to tuck under, because you're tall, right? So I know it's, it's probably, do you think you might be able to get your feet a little bit more tucked under? Yeah, scoot forward on the platform. Okay, right? yeah. Yeah, better now, for sure. Okay. Absolutely. That's one thing I was observing on. Yeah, see, it just makes all that big of a difference, because I, now I had you, I mean, just why, how that makes a difference, it had you at 11%, which I know is not the case, <laughs> and now you're at 4.2, so. Holy crap, 4.2. All right, And so, after we eight more pounds, that's gonna come from. <laughs> so we're definitely, well, we're definitely, so these are just tests, right? Yeah, like these right. first two, it's like, that was from 11 to four, yeah. so we're probably, yeah, but I just wanted to give you an example of how I, how we know that we need to, so that makes a big difference, let me just make sure. Now, one more thing, what, if you could stay maybe under, because I'm still seeing some bubbles come out at the very end. Okay. If you can hide, try to hold it, which I know you can, like five more seconds. Sure. If possible. I want this accurate, I'll kill myself okay. this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I figured like, yeah, you holding your breath for five more seconds is very minimal. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Good job, yeah. Try to keep those feet up. Good, good, good. All the way down. Good job. Good job. Awesome. Down, 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 down. Great job. Woo! Rocked it. Nice. Second, can you give me just one more? Of Is that one? I mean, wasn't that a big difference that third one you did? Yeah, that, that, that was, was huge. That was really good. Like you really, it's, it's crazy how your body just adapted to that. So, as you said, it takes care of getting comfortable. I never blown out air underwater. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. right, because yeah. it's always when you're going to go under. Yeah, you usually hold your breath, right? Yeah, exactly. it's like, yeah, so, but what's amazing too is you just being in tune with your body is huge with like acclimating mind and you know yeah it's cool right. What's, i wonder what the lowest body fat you have recorded so uh, far. this would be this right here really? <laughs> oh, this, you are. this would be it right here yes yes you are uh, absolutely another wreck another all right feet up just a reminder okay. and blowing expelling Way out. Good job. Get all the way under. Perfect. Good. So you see, like some of these mm -hmm. bubbles still coming yeah. out, mm -hmm. which it'll consider it as fat if it doesn't. Okay. Yeah. Good. <laughs> awesome. All right. Let's see where we're at. So at 3.8, let's see what our port. See, it has him. We have to take the averages out of that 11.1 because yeah, it, it throws off his accurate. average. Yeah. yeah. So let me see. Okay, we got good data. So Beautiful. we'll just take that one out and then it'll definitely be. About four percent. Four percent. Four percent. Four point zero. Yep. Okay. We're right in the money. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, nothing but chicken and lettuce for the last three weeks. No <laughs> carbs. <laughs> right. No fats. Mm -hmm. I cut out artificial sweeteners a few days ago. So if you want to be at four percent body fat, be prepared to eat nothing but grilled chicken with no sodium, with no fats, with no carbs. That's what it takes. No fat. 
fun. Yeah. <laughs> I love the realization of that, right? Yeah, it's like, what's the magic key? It's like, well, there you have it. You can't, you can't work out a bad diet. Not at all. Just can't. I had this talk with my coach the other day about what part of the diet is the hardest part. The first few weeks is not too bad. Uh, you still have some carbs in you. You feel good. You're not super depleted yet. The middle, though, is the hardest because that's the part where you don't see the lines coming in every day. As a bodybuilder, you're constantly posing, practicing in the mirror, and when you're at the very end of prep, the final two weeks, every day, quite literally, you see the lines get deeper, lines you never saw in your body before, your skin gets tighter daily. So it's daily motivation, and that becomes addicting. Whereas in the middle, you don't see that. So it's very hard when you're deplete when you're starting to feel depleted and deprived and have all these cravings and you don't see the results, mm -hmm. right? So I find the last couple of weeks to be very exciting despite it being on paper the most challenging. Mm -hmm. And I will definitely come back here after this weekend and Olympia Amateur, which is a few days after in Orlando, once I am in the peak of my bulk to see how much my body fat climbs <laughs> when my weight stops going up. So I want to get to about uh, 275, 280 pounds. That's roughly when my body likes to tap out and say, okay, that's enough weight. And I, I've never had my body measure that there either. So I'm curious how high it gets. So I'd love to make a visit in bulk mode. All right. That'd be a lot of fun. But 4% is uh, a lot lower than I thought it would be. I was expecting seven or eight. Yeah. But coach says that in bodybuilding, there's a couple of markers that says, your condition and it's not getting any better than that. Stride and glutes being the most important one. And I had that from a week ago. Mm -hmm. And now they're very deep. And that's where I think that <sighs> there's not much else to lose now. What a week. <laughs> where do I go for four percent? <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Yeah. But thank you so much for Yes, uh, absolutely. My pleasure. It's cool. been yeah, it's been great. You know, um, beautiful facility. This is my first time here, brand new. Uh, just six months ago, you guys opened up shop, right? Yeah, yeah, six months, gosh, oh, oh, 10 months now, but it goes by fast, yeah, ten, about 10 months. <laughs> 10 months, absolutely yeah. gorgeous facility, and then the view, it's so much daylight in this gym here, yeah. I mean, amazing, and by the way guys, OG Gym, a uh, gym that Ryan and I are partnering up to open, is opening, we're looking at early next year, between Jan and February, and it's going to be right there. Uh, in Claremont on Foothill Boulevard. So please stay tuned on the One Gen Gym page on Instagram for any updates or join my broadcast channel, Larry Wills. So thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you, Lorraine. Absolutely. For fantastic. And we will see you guys very, very soon on stage. <laughs>